Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's September 27th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste gas and energy. As of September 27th, 2024, Amatis is currently sitting at $2.39 per share. Waste Management is now at $205.51 per share. Republic Services now sitting at $199.34 per share. Waste Connections ended the day at $177.34 per share. And GFL Environmental slipped slightly down to $39.31 per share. But up first in the news, in a pair of enforcement alerts released this past week, the United States Environmental Protection Agency is warning municipal solid waste landfill owners to get in compliance with landfill gas laws. EPA inspectors recently completed more than 100 inspections of landfills over a three-year period and found that many of them aren't following proper procedures to inspect and maintain the systems they use to collect gas. The EPA also says municipal solid waste landfill owners may be misrepresenting their emissions or waste in place to avoid needing to install gas collection systems. These alerts come after the EPA warned landfill owners just last year it would be focusing on inspection and enforcement of landfill emissions requirements. And up next, Massachusetts-based Divert Inc. announced this past week they are entering into a big partnership with Blue Diamond Growers. Blue Diamond, who may be familiar to you from your times at the supermarket, is the world's leading almond company with processing plants in Turlock, Salida, and Sacramento, California. The company will be sending almond processing byproducts to a new facility being built for it to be transformed into renewable energy. Ryan Begin, CEO and co-founder of Divert, said, quote, We are proud to join forces with a company like Blue Diamond Growers that shares our mission and commitment to sustainability. The organic byproducts from food processing have tremendous value that can be converted into renewable energy to power our communities. With California being the largest food manufacturer in the U.S., there is a real opportunity for the state to adopt the technology and infrastructure for food processing that will have a positive impact on the climate crisis. We applaud Blue Diamond for being at the forefront of the industry in implementing solutions to better our world. End quote. And next, the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Fossil Energy and Carbon Management has announced up to $15 million in federal funding to make clean hydrogen a more available and affordable fuel for electricity generation, industrial decarbonization, and transportation. Specifically, the funding opportunity will support research and development projects that convert feedstocks such as coal, biomass, household waste, and waste plastics into synthetic gas, also known as syngas, to enable the low-cost production of clean hydrogen. Brad Crabtree, the Assistant Secretary of Fossil Energy and Carbon Management, said, quote, Increasing the use of low-carbon fuels like clean hydrogen in the industrial and power sectors will help meet our ambitious climate goals. Advancing technologies that use waste and other feedstocks, coupled with the capture and storage of carbon dioxide emissions, will reduce the carbon footprint and costs to produce clean hydrogen, end quote. And up next... Total Energies announced this past week the signing of an agreement with HD Hyundai Chemical in South Korea for the delivery of 200,000 tons of liquefied natural gas per year for seven years starting in 2027. Thanks to this agreement, with prices indexed both to Brent and Henry Hub, Total Energies strengthens its long-term position in South Korea, which has become the world's third largest LNG importing country. 
Gregory Joffroy, the senior vice president of LNG at Total Energies, said, quote, We are pleased with this agreement with HD Hyundai Chemical, which will supply natural gas to one of their industrial sites. This agreement allows us to continue securing long-term sales in Asia and reduce our exposure to spot market gas prices, end quote. And just a reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. And up next, EDP, a developer of wind farms and solar energy projects in the U.S. and Europe, recently discussed with Bloomberg how data centers are now driving demand for renewable power. Data centers have high power needs, and large technology firms such as Microsoft Core have set themselves ambitious clean energy goals. EDP Chief Executive Officer Miguel Stilwell de Andrade said, quote, Demand is just so great that what you see is some of these big tech companies just signing up as much supply as they can. Whether it's wind or solar, it has to be ready to build over the next couple of years. Gas is also something that's being very much discussed. What's happened over the last couple of months is we've been getting a lot of inbound calls asking, do you have the capacity that you can sell us? Do you have the projects that are ready to build over the next couple of years? In terms of pricing, we're talking about pretty healthy pricing, end quote. And up next, Waga Energy, a global player in the production of renewable natural gas, and Veolia have commissioned an RNG production unit at the Grange Landfill in Burgundy, France. The landfill is operated by Veolia's subsidiary, Veleste. Waga Energy will of course be implementing their patented Waga Box technology to produce the renewable natural gas, which is then directly injected into the natural gas distribution network to supply to households and businesses. This marks the sixth RNG injection project undertaken in France by Veolia and Waga Energy in the last six years. The Waga Box units located at Veolia landfills offer a combined installed capacity of 800,000 metric meter BTUs per year, supplying over 35,000 households and avoiding the emissions of more than 40,000 tons of CO2 equivalent into the atmosphere every year. And speaking of new projects, Opal Fuels Incorporated said this past week it is opening its third fueling station in El Centro, California with GT Carriers Incorporated, a Southern California regional freight carrier. Opal Fuels owns these stations and has entered into long-term fuel supply agreements with GT Carriers. These stations expand Opal Fuels' RNG dispensing network, now comprising over 300 stations across the U.S. Adam Kimura, the co-CEO of Opal Fuels, said, quote, Our fuel station services business continues to grow rapidly, backed by customers like GT Carriers, who understand that RNG lowers both their fuel cost and their carbon footprint. RNG is one of the cleanest and most affordable transportation fuels available, end quote. And one last new project to end the show on today, as Cincinnati-based Synthica Energy broke ground this past week on a new renewable natural gas plant in San Antonio. Dozens of regional business leaders and VIPs joined Synthica co-founders to put the first shovels in the ground on a project expected to be completed in 2026. The facility will be the first of its kind in San Antonio and is expected to divert nearly 250,000 tons of waste from local landfills each year. Grant Gibson, one of Synthica's co-founders and chief development officer, said, quote, Synthica Energy is redefining organic waste management and the benefits are clear. Environmental stewardship, community investment, job creation, and more. 
we're building a national platform that's fusing new technology with environmental consciousness and sustainability and creating a mutually beneficial opportunity for the markets we're serving. End quote. And that will do it today for your September 27th news roundup brought to you by Recyclist, a trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we will see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.